wonderful aroma. I feel more relaxed already. Would that I had sweetmeats to offer, but I travel light out of habit. There's plenty of hot water, though, so please have as much tea as you like. Now then, will you tell us your tale? Why don't you start from the beginning? Preposterous! Utterly preposterous! While not the words I would have chosen, I too have my doubts. Much of it borders on the incredulous. What of you, Bernard? Not knowing the precise details of the first final days, it is difficult to determine the veracity of the tale. Supposing it is all true, I must ask myself why I would do what I did. Why would I feel I had no recourse but to oppose the 14 and create this Hydaelyn? Circumstances change, of course, but it would not have been an easy decision regardless. No, there must have been a reason, one compelling enough to force me to take such drastic measures. Then there is the Elpis flower, which I said would serve as a guide. That it's of import to your mission is plain. But your presence here leads me to believe that this place also holds significance. But what could it be? What are we meant to accomplish? Might it not be simply thus? In the future, whence she came, the final days could not be averted. Mankind has no choice but to flee the star. By alerting us to that eventuality, Perhaps you wish to pave the way for other futures. Theoretically speaking, it is a possibility. Yet if that were my primary objective, I see no reason to guide our friend to Elpis specifically. The capital on Amarot, or even my own home, would be more logical destinations. True, true. I note also that Heidelin did not specify a point in time to which she must return. 
By this, it may be inferred that it was not critical that we should meet. Alternately, she had reason to believe that our paths would converge, coincidental though it may seem. Hmm. This is quite a puzzle, and we do not have all the pieces. Hardly any, but we do have one immutable fact. If the final days are indeed as described, they will bring death to all that I hold dear. Yet despite being afforded long years of preparation, the only provisions I could make were... for flight. Nay, my first and foremost endeavor would be to find a way to forestall the coming doom. Given that even the 14 failed, mayhap you deemed it impossible. Nothing is impossible. This I have always believed. And if Heidelin is indeed me, she would believe the same. Listen to yourself. Are you seriously entertaining the notion that you are a messianic figure in some far-fetched tale? Well, I will not. I refuse to accept that our world could be undone by some unforeseen calamity. I also take offense to my portrayal as a megalomaniacal madman. To sacrifice oneself for the star is a noble act, and I would hold those who gave themselves to this zodiac in the highest esteem. Yet, you claim I recreated Amarot and populated it with phantoms of our people? A bizarre indulgence that would be insulting to their memory. Worse still, I even invited you there. Literally invited my own downfall. Why would I do something so idiotic and inexplicable? Now, I will allow that the hypothetical task of restoring our world would be daunting in the extreme. The thought of having to bear such a burden for a thousand, thousand lives horrifies me. But I would never forsake my duty. I would never forsake my brethren. You do not know me. I've had my fill of your fiction. I will return to my duty, and you will not bother me again. Emmet Self, wait! You've seen much of Elpis already. If you have any observations to share, I should like to hear them. Ah, yes. The energy distinct from ether. Though not my field, I have a basic understanding of dynamis. And you say Hermes researched the phenomenon in the course of creating Meteon? Yes. I believe this warrants further investigation. With that settled, it is time for action. The missing pieces of the puzzle are here, I'm certain of it. And when you find them, the picture my future self has painted will be complete. And you will have your answer. And suffice it to say, I will aid you in your quest. Have faith. 
If Emmet Selk is the man Azum described to me, we've not seen the last of him.